how has a failure or an apparent failure set you up for later success? And do you have a favorite failure uh, story? No. So I, I have failed a ton. Um, I, my attitude towards failure is fail now, not when it counts. Um, it, the EOD mantra with failure is it's, a, it's initial success or total failure. Um, and that's true because it's either I'm working on a problem or if I screw up, I'm just suddenly not there to deal with it anymore. Yeah. Uh, a favorite failure. So there's, there's, I don't know why. So like, it's not even like that big of a failure. Uh, I was going through a divorce <clears throat> back, I don't know, whatever year it was. Uh, I, I got back from Afghanistan. I was in for uh, adjustment disorder, PTSD at mental health. I was angry. I was going through a med board. I was angry. Uh, and I, I ran a IED operation as part of my training, normal training. And as I was sweeping up to a, uh, an IED, there was an improvised rocket launcher. And I went over there and basically the processes that I did got me killed within 30 seconds of identifying that there's a rocket launcher right there. And I was just pissed. Like, I just remember being like overwhelmingly just pissed off. There was a lot of external factors. Like my about to be ex-wife was right there watching. Uh, the guy that is the reason that we became exes was also standing right there watching. But that failure, I think, is probably one of my favorite because I have never thrown a piece of equipment that far. Uh, uh, I got yelled at. I got smoked. Was it less than a 300-pound stone? It was significantly less than a 300-pound stone, but I, I threw a combat helmet. I don't even know how far it was. It pro I probably remember it being farther. Um, but it was just one of those moments where, like, that, that moment really allowed me to get out a lot of anger and aggression that I had at my situation. Uh, it wasn't a good situation, too. Just let me say that leadership... If, Leadership needs to be engaged in what's going on with their guys. Um, I, that should have been a command-directed move. There should have been somebody needed to move. Uh, Is that the biggest lesson learned fr uh, from that? Because, I mean, obviously, it was such a big thing at the time, but you, you kind of look back and, like, you know what? In a weird way, I'm glad that happened because it's helped me become I yes. able to connect and use that. Absolutely. Others. Now, I do have issues with connecting because I've had other failures, too. I've had members commit suicide on my watch, and I know that, according to mental health, that's not my fault. But you know what? As a leader, you're always going to think that that's your fault. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it taught me to, to get context in what the guys and girls that work under me are going through, uh, because that whole situation shouldn't have been a thing. Um, someone should have PCS, two people should have PCS. Yeah, they should have moved. Right? Some, somebody PCS. should have moved. Um, but really like the whole thing was just bump kiss. It was just terrible. Um, but yeah, probably, and it's not really even a failure on my part. I failed because I failed the IED operation. Um, I died, you know, in, in the fake world, but it, it drove this lesson that you, if you're not involved and you don't know what's going on with your people, you might smoke somebody who throws their combat helmet across the range because they just died on an ID operation. But if they had taken like 30 seconds to actually address the underlying issue, it was that my future ex-wife was basically sleeping with another guy within the flight while I was deployed. And I came back to like some other dude living at my house. Yeah. Uh, who was in the military, in my unit. Um, and in my opinion, leadership did nothing. So probably the biggest lesson learned there was, and again, just get involved um, and try to know. Now, other failures have also led to other issues where, like, sometimes I have a hard time getting involved. I was very involved with, I guess we'll talk about my uh, the suicide in my unit. So this gentleman, uh, basically, I, I got him. In 2013, like this is like a really important year for me. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of stuff happened that that caused a lot of a lot of a lot of changes. So uh, he came to me as a brand new uh, airman, fresh out of tech school. I came back as a you know fresh from war, you know yeah. staff sergeant. So uh, basically, I had this guy from day one. He kind of like he has like the most entertaining what the hell moments. Um, so like airman. If you have a child, when you report to your first duty station, even if it's not with someone that lives with you, you should probably tell me. Um, so like our first sergeant, six months into his tour, is like, did you know he has a son? I was like, what? No, <laughs> like, yeah. No, we've talked about family, and I specifically did not know that. So stuff like that. Um, so basically knew this guy from 2013 until when he died in uh, February of 2019. And uh, it actually kind of, I'll say that from 2019, 
through 2021, I was almost completely isolated from everybody in my unit, even though I was in charge of that particular section. Um, I had 13 people working for me, running probably one of the more difficult to run tech schools in the Air Force. And I was just, I, so I insulated myself because um, like I, I had to go pick this guy's daughter up from school. Yeah. The daughter I didn't know about when he first became my airman. I had to go pick her up from school because he was dead. And it just drove a stake in there where I didn't want to open myself up to that because I, like, I thank God I have the wife I have because she is the reason that I was able to kind of get through that time because this. Give your wife a shout out. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, Yeah, Kristen. uh, Kristen, Simply DIY Home on Instagram. Yeah, give her a shout out. Yeah, she's also a big. no, content content creator slash blogger for yeah. for uh, for renovating homes, but she basically was just there and she understood. She had she had almost the same relationship. We're a tight knit community, yeah, right. So like she knew who he was. She had hung out with him. Um, it was uh, an absolutely awesome thing. But like that moment as well, I've always treated that as a failure, and I know that it's not healthy to do that. But the reality is, is that I'm never going to see that is not my failure um, because I should have recognized it. I should have tried to be more involved. Um, and I know it's not healthy, but I, I just, I can't. I just can't get 